New data reveals that Americans are no longer moving for work. An annual survey that has tracked the trend for decades found that for the first quarter of 1986, 45% of job seekers moved for a new job. Compared to the first quarter of this year, that number dipped to 1.6%. Joining us here in the studio is CBS Money Watch Associate Managing Editor, Irina Ivanova. Irina, welcome. This is really interesting and speaks to that shift that I think is really taking place in the American workplace. We've all been talking about this tightening economy. What factors could be at play here? So there's been a number of theories, because this is a, a very long-term trend. Mm -hmm. um, you know, back in the 80s, uh, every year about a third of job seekers moved, and about one in six families moved every year for, for any reason. And now it's, it's really cratered. Um, one of the reasons that economists point to um, is actually the rise of dual earner households. It's much more common now in a family for two parents to work, not just one, uh, and that makes it harder to move. It's much harder to change two careers than it is to change one. Um, also, compared to the 80s, more people are homeowners, and housing is actually much more expensive. Um, now, if you think about what's happened in the last two years, yeah. housing has gotten insanely more expensive, mm -hmm. and now mortgage rates have gone up. Uh, I read one analysis uh, this week that said if you're buying a typical single-family home, it's going to take about 50% of your disposable income, that monthly payment, whereas pre-pandemic, it was more like 30 35%. Wow, that's a huge jump. It's really massive. So it's, it's a really big lift. And then if you look at the people who have homes who could potentially sell them, a lot of them are locked into very low mortgages, like one in four have mortgages under 3%, which again, historically, is yeah. insanely low. So these right. people Why are would you want to not move? moving. Yeah. In fact, this analyst said, you know, nobody is selling their house and moving unless they're forced to. And that mm. means death, that means divorce, that means a job offer that is truly out of this world spectacular that you cannot turn down. Right. The incentives just aren't there. So, you know, in addition, the labor market has been strong. So what does this lack of flexibility to move mean for potential employees? So this is something that actually worries economists because it means overall our economy is a little bit less dynamic. If you think about it, um, staying in the same place for a long time, it's a little bit like staying in the same job for a long time. You maybe uh, don't learn new skills. You don't get pay raises as fast. And so if you look at this sort of economy-wide, that's, that's really worrying. And people point to this, uh, they call it lack of dynamism in the economy. Mm. Um, so, and, and there's also, um, there's actually uh, an... A class aspect to this as well, because when we drill down, when we look to the people who really are moving, the people who uh, ben could benefit most, which are the people with less education, the people with uh, lower paying jobs, they are least likely to move. The people who do tend to move are those uh, knowledge workers. Uh, they're making more money. They're working white collar sort of knowledge jobs. They are more mobile. Interesting. Um, and I wonder how hybrid work has played into all of this, because as we talk about the options available for people, now. Certainly, that seems to be something that has mm -hmm. factored into the way in which people evaluate what opportunities may be out there. That's right. And I think it's a big factor, especially in, in, you know, in the past year or two. Mm -hmm. um, even though we have had this push among employers to try to get people back to the office, hybrid work and, and totally remote work is a lot more available than it was pre-pandemic. So when you look at the fact that this is something that employees really, really like, a lot of people are looking for hybrid work and the barriers to moving are maybe much higher than they used to be. Um, there is this confluence of factors that makes people really want to stay put. Yeah, it's such a shift from when, back when I was <laughs> graduating from school, uh, you know, it was typical, just hopscotch from job to job. Absolutely. And then you kind of moved up in your career that way. It seems for a number of reasons, not just economic, but I imagine mm -hmm. personal too, um, people are evaluating this and saying, you know what, I'm going to just stay right where I am. So Irina Ivanova, really interesting topic. Great to have you here in studio. Thank you so much. Thank you.